Welcome guys on another Fishy Friday here live from Eersik in the south part of the Netherlands. It's here and there is a mussel boat coming in. It's here where the mussels are growing up, delicious mussels. But we're not going to make a Dutch dish with it, but a Peruvian. We're going to make Peruvian style steamed mussels with an amazing salsa. It's going to be delicious. Let's kick off. So the first step what we're going to do, we're going to steam the mussels, the beautiful delicious mussels coming here from the Oosterschelde. Step number one, chopping some shallot. So let's see what we do, we, we, we build up all these flavors which will uh, increase the taste of the, of the mussels. And then the next step is we're going to make the salsa. So finally chop one shallot. Next step some garlic. So I chop this fine, I use some parsley stalks. When I'm cooking, from really from the beginning I use the stalks and I add more the leaves at the very end. So some vegetable oil, maybe one half tablespoon, one tablespoon. And now we'll add like shallot, the garlic, the parsley stalks. So actually what I do right now is basically soften the veggies, get all these flavors beautifully infused. Make sure they're not getting caramelized, not getting brown. This is the moment I add like a tiny bit of white wine, maybe 10 mils. Give it a hustle. Some pepper. So we add the mussels, give it a toss. So now I'm going to cover it. And actually what's happening right now is that, that the mussels will be opening because of the steam and all these beautiful flavors. Combining, that will be the base of this typical Peruvian mussel dish. Okay. So all shells are open now. This is the time I'm going to take a take off the heat. Next step, we're going to halve the shells. So I take this part off and I lose the muscle. So I take it out, have it back again into the shell. And this I repeat with every muscle I've just cooked. The reason why I've got the seaweed here, you could use like rock salt too, is just to stabilize the shell of the muscle. Okay, I have my muscles aside. I'm going to cover it with a Cloth. Why? Because it's really warm today here. Um, you're in Eersike. So cover it. Now I'm going to create this salsa. Two red onions. So I chop the red onion into little small cubes. Continue with two tomatoes. So I quarter them. And now what I do, I take out the seeds. But not just the seeds. I also cut up the white part. Cut them in length. Turn them around and my little cubes. And now the next ingredient is true Peru. This makes this dish a fully true Peruvian dish. You could use red chili, but we are going to use this rocotto. Now rocotto is one of the famous chilies growing and used in Peru. And we will use like a tiny bit for the salsa. You see black seeds. And, and this is um, the outer side is the less spicy and the more you come inside, the more spicy. So what I use is this part, cut it in nice little cubes. So I add a tiny bit of garlic. Next step, which makes it Peruvian, but not fully Peruvian because in Peru you have this white corn. I've got yellow sweet corn here in the Netherlands, but it works perfectly too. I add this to the bowl, like maybe a handful. So the next step, if I would be at home, would be having this in a freezer for like 10 minutes because then you create this crunchiness. You make it really fresh, which combines perfectly well with the mussels. I don't have a freezer right here. It's a beautiful hot day here in Ierske. So I'm going to add straight away the lime. Cut the lime in half. And this is what I took from Peru. It's a lime juicer, a lime press. Okay, so there was one lime. I add one half a lime extra. So in the lime press and give it a press. Oof, yes, good. Some salt, some black pepper. And give it a stir. And now the coriander. One handful added through the salsa. I have a little taste. Mm. Crunchy, fresh, delicious. 
So now it's time to plate it up. So take off the cloth so you won't see the muscle anymore. We're going to cover our hero, our seafood hero, the mussel. But you definitely will taste it together with this Peruvian salsa. This is a real treat. It's perfect for finger food as a starter. This is a little lunch. Nice. The dish is ready. It's now to give it a taste. Beautiful. Mm. It's really, really good. It's a tenderness, a bit sweetness of the mussel. And you have the crunchiness of the salsa, including the acidity of the lime, a bit of the spiciness of the rocotto. It's an amazing dish. You can make it really quick, as you have seen. Really should give this a try. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon back on another Fishy Friday.